Oh, you can't see it. There she is. This is so cool for me to be back. For those who don't know, I actually, well for one, I was born in France and I lived here until I was four, but I never like really learned French. And then I moved here on my own when I was 18 for a couple months and it was like one of the hardest but most like transformative times. It was an incredible experience, super challenging, super cool. So Paris holds a very special place in my heart. So literally, it's so cool to be back. It's so like heartwarming. Like I literally truly feel like it's like a piece of me and my identity. It's cliche, but it's true. It's cool. I'm here with my family right now. I'm gonna be traveling with them for a little bit and then on my own and then traveling with friends. So it's like a perfect mix. picnic with the best view I know. and great and the people. Best people. Literally, this is a great second full day in France. I'm so stoked on this trip right now. We're in like the Lyon region right now and we just went to a little town called What? Which is an American, it's very funny to me. No offense to any French people. And now at a place called Chateau de Bagnol, Bagnol, something like that. And we're gonna have lunch. It's seriously just so gorgeous and peaceful. This is wine country, so we've just been driving through all these gorgeous like vineyards and little small towns and gardens. And it is so stunning. <laughs> Beautiful church. Now we're gonna get some ice cream. 
We're in a random forest. <laughs> Leon is not the gastronomy. Gastronomy. And is that it? Is that it? That's it. That's it. Nothing else. Yeah. Started up there, and now we're here. Casual. I'm exploring the surroundings of my Airbnb. We road shipped down from France and ended up in kind of central Lyon. In two days I leave for Switzerland and then I'll be doing a solo journey. And so we came here and we met up with some family friends. And it is so cliche, but it's so true that traveling literally just opens up your eyes to so many different ways of living and lifestyles and cultures and experiences that kind of transform the way you see yourself and your future and just kind of like puts the way you live your life in check because it's so easy to get stuck in the bubble of like your community and your town and your school or whatever it is and thinking that's like the only way of life but when you get out you're like these people are so different in such a beautiful way and there's so much we can learn from them and there's so many ways to grow from being around them a huge tip i have for traveling is if you can try to have a meal with a local from the region you're in because when you sit down and share a meal with someone you learn so much more about their culture and their life and and what they do and how they interact even just like having a french meal you realize that french they have different courses and they really enjoy each course and the flavor is so much more than i'm used to and they like put their bread on the table not on their plate just little things like that you'd never learn if you're like with just like a big old american tour group move spots this is just kind of a ramble but we're going with it Another huge thing of traveling for me is it's just a reminder that it's cliche, bear with me. The purpose of life is living it to the fullest and seeing as much as you can, experiencing as much as you can, meeting new people, learning from them, loving on them, and having them love you in return. And literally, I feel like I'm a freaking Tumblr cliche quote right now, but it's so much more than material goods or how much money you make or how successful you are. It's fine to like nice things and to enjoy that style of life. And at times I do too, but I feel like you find joy in just simple moments like this, like looking out on this courtyard, the sunsets in the Blasé region of France. Like what? So yeah, to conclude this random ramble, the wise words of Damon and Joe, the homies, just, you know, shut up and go.